Hi everyone, my name is Valerie and I'm back again with Tony, my pal Tony here, to read you another Tony story. So Tony's a little turtle, remember I told you before, but I'm, I'm afraid this might be, if this is the first story you've heard, I want to explain that Tony often sees and feels things a little bit differently, so he likes, he likes to go into his shell sometimes. If things get too noisy or too bright, if he doesn't like the feel of something, the texture of something, if people are talking too quickly and he doesn't understand, sometimes it's easier to just maybe cover his ears. Tony, you like covering your ears, don't you? So he can cover his ears or he can go into his shell and then he feels nice and safe. So we've read lots of stories on ways that mom or dad or his teacher can help Tony in different situations. And we're reading these stories for Meath County Council Library Service, which we're really happy about. So thank you for asking us. So today's story is Tony Goes to School. So I wonder are the people listening here at school? I know because we had to stay at home last year for a while, didn't we? But I'm happy to be back at school. I'm a teacher in second class. So we're all really happy to be back at school. So this is going to be Tony's first time going to school. So let's see how he gets on, okay? So here again in the front is Tony Goes to School written by Valerie Sheehan, which is my name, and illustrated by Susan Meany. This means Susan did the gorgeous pictures in the book. So let's see. It has been a lovely summer break with sunshine, games, and swims in the lake. Now the day for Tony to start school is here. There's been lots of planning, so Tony has no fear. Mom has been preparing Tony all through the summer that he'd have to start school. She's had pictures of his classroom, his teacher. She's, she has had everything ready, so she was really prepared to help Tony. And that was really important for Toby. He looks at the picture of the teacher in school. She looks really nice, and his classroom looks cool. His uniform is ready. His school bag is packed, with new pencils and new books all intact. Always, everything always looks shiny new in September when you go to school, don't they? While eating breakfast, Mum gets the day plan. Remember in the other books how we talked about the day plan? So Tony knows what's happening and he sees the picture, so that helps him. If he doesn't know the word, the picture will help him understand what's happening. So Mum gets the day plan and gently tells Tony to do the best he can. Now, can you see the day plan? So this is his school. First his school and after school he has swimming. Tony has some friends already, but he'll make some new. There'll be Pippa, Evie, Michael and Kira too. They arrive at school and Tony sees his friend Grace. Teacher sits them together and this puts a smile on Tony's face. He's feeling a little bit nervous on his first day, but he was sitting next to his friend, so that helped him feel good. Mum stands at the door holding back tears, thinking of all Tony has achieved in a few short years. So Tony, Tony had worked really hard and mum was so proud of him because lots of things are challenging for Tony so he has to work extra hard and it took a lot for him to go to school and so she's very proud of him. So repetition, planning and patience are key to Tony's success and the day running smoothly. Oma the Owl is his teacher's name. She has a kind face and a voice just the same. She shows Tony the schedule on his table along with his name on a big bright label. Can you see it? Tony, so he knows where he's sitting. It's all very clear. And teacher uses a visual schedule as well. So each part of the day, Tony knows what's happening next and that helps him to feel safe and happy at school. The teacher begins, everyone sit down. Tony feels anxious, but he doesn't frown. It can be difficult for Tony sit to sit still but he has a wiggle seat and some leg bands and these help him to chill. Can you see? He has a special cushion he can sit on and he has some bands on his chair so he can kind of kick his legs but they don't go too far because he likes to have some movement. It helps him. Tony sits at his table and he listens well, enjoying his work and staying out of his shell. After a while, he needs a movement break and this helps keep Tony alert and awake. Teacher asks Tony to give each child a book. Tony moves around the room with a very proud look. He hands them all out 
the movement allows Tony more time to concentrate. They spend the morning playing turn-taking games, singing songs to learn their friends' names. They learn some sounds and numbers too, and they do some art using scissors and glue. To let the teacher know what's going on in his head, Tony has three crayons, orange, green and red. Orange is when things are okay, green for when all is well, but red is for when Tony wants to go into his shell. So he puts them out for the teacher to see. Because if he has a crane out in front of him, then the teacher knows how he's feeling and she can get to give Tony a break. She'll know how he's feeling okay and things are going good. So with his crayons and his plan, Tony feels safe and well. Knowing whatever he's feeling, the teacher can tell. He chats to his friends and he sits on his chair. His schedule shows him that he's nearly there. The bell rings at break, so everyone has lunch. They all sit together, having a munch. Tony eats his ham sandwich and sips on his drink. He is doing so well. The teacher gives him a wink. He winks at him like that. Oma the owl gives him a wink. They play outside before it's time to go home. And for a few minutes, Tony wants to just be on his own. He has followed the rules and he's stuck with the plans. But now, for a few minutes, he just wants to jump and flap his hands. It's his favourite thing to do. And he just, it makes him feel good. So he jumps up and down and flaps his hand for a few minutes. And then he's, ah, nice and relaxed again. When he's ready, Tony joins the class. They are playing, playing catch, running on the grass. Tony runs after Michael but he is just too fast. They laugh and they play, having a blast. At home time, Tony lines up, making, taking his place. He is first today, which puts a smile on his face. Everyone has a turn to be front in the line. If it's hard for Tony, the teacher uses his wait sign. Remember we saw this wait sign when Tony was at the playground? It's the same wait sign that helps Tony. I know in my class, everyone has a turn to be first. We change it every day and everyone has a turn. So Tony's teacher does the same thing, that everyone gets a turn. So then, then it's fair for everyone because the same person can't be first all the time. The mums and the dads wait at the school gate. The teacher walks them all out, not one minute late. Tony is happy when he sees his mum, smiling and holding up her thumb. Mum always does this to Tony. He's feeling good and things are okay. She puts up her thumb like this. Mum is excited to hear Tony's news from the day. But she waits patiently to hear what he has to say. Do you remember this? I told you this in the, the playground book as well. That mum waits patiently because it might take Tony a little bit more time to tell his news of the day. Because he processes it in his head first before he says it. So it just might take a little bit longer. So mum has learned how to wait for the few extra minutes before Tony tells her. And then he's not under any pressure and he's delighted to tell the news. But today, Tony just wants to check his day plan. Let's have a look. Can he go swimming now? Yes, he can. Remember when he was having breakfast, mum showed him his day plan? First he had to go to school, and then he had swimming. He loves swimming. Took him a long time to learn swimming, but he didn't like it at the start, but now he loves it and mum takes him after school some days. So thank you everybody again for super listening. I'm sure it was super listening. I can't tell from here, but I'm sure it was super listening by everybody. So thank you again to Mead County Council Library Services for asking us to do these stories. And we have one more to go. So we'll look forward to coming back to read one more story about Tony getting his hair cut. So thank you again, everyone, and see you soon. Bye from me, and bye from Tony.